Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of WDD's Hotspot, brought to you by Memory Protection Devices. Finally, Leap Motion has launched their 3D motion control software, which allows people to control their computer with natural hand and finger movements. Set at a retail price of $79.99, the Leap Motion controller can be ordered at leapmotion.com and works with computers running on Mac OS 10.7 or 10.8, and it requires a minimum Intel Core or AMD Phenom 2 processor, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and a USB 2.0 port. Why do I get the feeling that my fiance is writing this very information down as it's leaving my mouth? Rushing out the door with his jacket, halfway on, keys in hand. Yeah, he's definitely gonna want this thing. With summer's end just around the corner, we all have a few more weeks or so to fire up the Barbie and grill some mean tasting food. With the BBIQ, grill masters now have the chance to relax, hang out with their friends, and enjoy their own barbecues because this device monitors food while managing the grill. It notifies users when to turn the food, when to add seasoning, and when the food is done. If you're cooking different types of food, it will tell you which to put on the grill first, how long to wait before putting the next thing on, and even suggest where to place each item on the surface. Scientists at the Bristol Robotics Laboratory have developed a way of charging mobile phones using urine as the power source to generate electricity. Why? Using microbial fuel cells as energy converters, organic matter gets directly turned into electricity via the metabolism of live microorganisms. According to the head researcher, using the ultimate waste product as a source of power to produce electricity is about as eco as it gets. And the beauty of the fuel source is that we are not relying on the erratic nature of the wind or sun. We are actually reusing waste to create energy. Yeah, 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 it's great for the environment. It's still gross. Ha, oh, my phone's dead. Scientists at the Carnegie Mellon University and Microsoft Research have created internal tags called infrastructs to help 3D printed objects become readable and interactive in the digital world. These material-based passive tags embed machine-readable information in the interior of physical objects by combining the unique compatibility of digital fabrication to create one-off geometric structures with the see-through compatibility of terahertz imaging to read volumetric imaging. Well, that's all for this week. Be sure to check out more wireless news at wirelessdesignmag.com and don't forget to comment below to let me know what you want to hear more of. You can also join in on the conversation via Twitter and Facebook. So like, 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 follow, follow, follow. For WDD, I'm Megan Zimba, and I'll see you next time in the hotspot. Memory protection devices. Providing battery holders for all your board level applications since 1980. Visit batteryholders.com today for more information.